If you saw my other video about pumpkin activities, today we're going to do some more fun October things with spiders. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and we are doing creepy crawly spiders today and I have a whole bunch of activities to show you. All right, so for our first activity, we're gonna do a spider fine motor activity. I have a basket here that has these holes on the side. I've already been using this in my house, so look around and see what you have. And then I weave some yarn back and forth through the holes. So once again, some yarn I already had to make it look like a spider web. Now you can also have your kids help you do this part, which would be really great practice too for weaving. So once you've got your basket set up, you're gonna need some spiders. I found this pack of really small ones from Walmart. And you put your spiders in the bottom. Now, if you want this to be more complicated, do more weaving back and forth of the yarn. If you want it to be easier, do less. And then grab one of your favorite tools. This one is from a set that I love, and it's a fine motor exercise where you have to reach in between the web to grab the spiders. Now I picked out the smaller spiders just to make it a little bit more difficult, but you can also use the ring spiders to make it easier too because they have that little piece that you can grab a hold of. You can also make a sensory basket out of this as well with some of that spider webbing. Um, the spider webbing came from the Dollar Tree and I'm using the little spiders here, but picking those out of the material actually is great for sensory because if your child um, is trying to adapt to that kind of soft touch, this is a great way to do that and it takes some fine motor skills here to get those little spiders out and they can play and explore and hide spiders in there. Okay, so using those same little spiders from the first activity, you can do a 10 frame exercise. These 10 frames came from Lakeshore Learning and this is what a 10 frame looks like. There's two in a pack, so I'm gonna use both of them for a simple addition problem. I also have these number flashcards. You can use your own number flashcards and I'm going to pick out two different numbers here, one and five. So they would place one in this frame and then five in the bottom. And then they'd add them all together to get their answer. And they could even count out additional six if they'd like. You could also use just one 10 frame. So you have the one, so they place one on the top row and then the five on the bottom. And then their answer at the bottom here. In one of my last videos, I showed this really great pumpkin ice cube tray. This would also work for a really good 10 frame because there's five across on each row to make a total of 10. So just another way to do it. And I also like that the spiders, the little mini ones at least fit really well in there. So you could use that for a whole Halloween themed learning activity. One way to have a little bit of fun is to take these small spiders and maybe create a finish line on the floor somewhere and a straw. I have this big milkshake straw here and to blow your spider across to the finish line to see who could win. I'm gonna try this out here and see how it goes. If you have a large space and floor, this will go over really well. Quick and easy, you guys. Pull it out when you just need some time to entertain. If you have a geo board laying around, pull it out and get some of those rubber bands and make your own spider web design using the geo board. This one is probably definitely for the older kids, but you can have a lot of fun experimenting on your geo boards to make your own spider web. A great active activity is to make a spider web on your floor using some floor tape. I got mine at the Dollar Tree or you could use painter's tape. Make a spider web and take a ball and try to get the ball into the center. If you have hardwood floors or tile, you can use that activity I showed you just a little bit ago with the spiders and the straw and try to blow your spider into the center as well. If you haven't already entered my giveaway from last Friday, you're gonna wanna go do that. It's to enter to win a really great game from Smart Games. I'll link that down below so you can go take a look. Hope you've been inspired to do some spider activities with your kids. If you wanna see the one that I did on pumpkins, I will link that down below. I also have one on apples. If you've gone apple picking this fall that you might wanna check out if you haven't already, I'll link down below as well. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.